Hello. I'm not sure, uh, as the first couple of people in, you can let me know how we're looking because I've had a nightmare setting this up. You let me know how um, the connection is and the audio and stuff like that, if it's any good or not. I'd uh, appreciate the feedback. Um, it's my first time setting this all up, so I'm a bit all over the place at the moment. But hello and welcome. Hopefully I can actually get down and do uh, some artwork here. Everything's good? Oh, that's ideal. I have really bad internet where I am, so I'm actually streaming it from my phone. So um, we'll see how it goes anyway. Um, I've got my screen set up with the chat, so hopefully I can see everything that's going on. And uh, yeah, let's crack on. Is the, is the audio okay? Because I saw that it was a little bit low um, in the streaming software and I just I didn't have time to adjust it before we sort of went live, so... Again, let me know how it is, and uh, let's get cracking with this drawing. Uh, it's been quite a while since um, I started this one. Obviously, it's been Christmas and everything, so I don't know how um, how long it's going to take me to finish. But uh, let's get started and see where we end up. Sounds good. Oh, brilliant. Thank you. Thank you for the feedback. I don't know how many people are going to join in. I need to get better at organising and sorting this all out, so... Um, let's see right let's take a little look where did i get to last time so i did the hands finish those off i've sort of been doing this drawing in parts and completing individual parts just because i haven't had a, a lot of time recently so um let's start off we're in the body now and i've basically laid down my first layer by the looks of it um so i'm just need to go back around and start figuring out where i want things to go yeah live galaxy hi nick how you doing this is a I did I did a live a couple of years ago, um, but I only had my um, iPad I think at the time that I used, and it was uh, way worse than this. But I'm hoping <laughs> I've improved the setup a little bit, and uh, I'm getting there slowly. So um, yeah, hopefully you enjoy. I did find that previously though, which is what I'm doing currently, is that I end up talking way too much and not actually achieving much with my drawing because. It's really hard to concentrate on what I'm doing and talk at the same time, but you know, practice makes perfect, so we'll see how we go with that. Um, right, um, let me get my bearings and then we'll go. Let's just start cracking on and uh, see how we go. So I'll, I'll sort of, you know, I'll talk as I go through and uh, sort of explain what I'm doing. Um, I try to, one of the main things is to get good contrast to make sure that where all of these parts overlap and some of it's in the background like this bit um, and this is in the foreground that I don't have two dark areas right next to each other so it all kind of merges into one so I try and give it a bit of contrast so that it overall uh, sort of pops a little bit so that's what we're trying to achieve here so where I've gone up to black up here I need to make sure this little bit that's in between is quite light um, and then uh, that's going to stop that from all blurring together. So uh, with that in mind, I can go ahead and put some in here. I'll probably, I didn't really know what uh, the best uh, type of art is to do on a live stream. So I'll probably take this as a bit of feedback if you're watching. Um, anyone who jumps in or even if you, I'll probably upload this um, separately afterwards. If you're watching afterwards, let me know uh, what type of thing you want to see whether it's tutorials or just sort of hanging out or whatever. You know, I don't really know what the, the good content is uh, for live streams. I have to figure it out as I go. Um, right, so I'm thinking, where's my Prismacolor? That this area down here is going to be quite dark. Looks good, thank you very much. That's brilliant. Nice to know that everything isn't crashing and burning. I'm a little bit all over the place because um, I've been away for work for my main job um, for the last two days in Northern Ireland. So I arrived back home last night at about 1am and I've just been scrambling. I've got two little girls so I've been you know, taking them to school and stuff like that. Um, and I've got the day off because I worked through our bank holiday, which is our national holiday on Monday. I was flying. Um, so I've got today to sort of claim back for that. Um, I've got about an hour or so more. I was hoping to have a bit more time, but um, yeah, I, I didn't really anticipate that it would take a little while to set up the stream itself. Um, I didn't really think about it, to be honest, so that's my fault. Right. 
Right, so the, the general colours that I'm using for this, uh, just so everyone knows what I'm watching, is um, I'm using mostly Prismacolors, but I've got a couple of Arteza um, pencils in here. I like to use uh, the Arteza pencils. I think I've mentioned this before, that they've got a lot more firm lead. So um, for they stay sharp for a lot longer. So for the uh, intricate areas like these points, it's a lot easier to get good coverage with the Prisma color, uh, sorry, with the Arteza pencils than it is with the Prisma color because the Prisma color, as you can see, uh, with this one here, so I've got it fixed focus, but um, they go blunt pretty quickly uh, and wear down pretty quickly. Got some Arteza color pencils a couple of weeks ago. Oh, brilliant! Yeah, it's always good to hear that the videos are helping. Um, it's nice to have that feedback, so I'm glad that uh, you've been enjoying that. I've got, I do have intention to do a couple more. Um, entire Arteza focused videos as well. I know I did the tutorials and stuff like that. In fact, that was one of my ideas for the live stream that um, the tutorial template with the eyes and the stars and stuff like that that I did, maybe I could do another one of those. Um, I did it for Arteza so I could do that with Prisma colors and you guys can pick what colors we use and stuff like that. I think that would be um, fun and a good idea. So I'll give that a go at some point. Uh, yeah, sorry, anyway, I sidetracked myself. So I'm using um, black Prisma color. Uh, Violet Prismacolor for my next darkest. Uh, Dahlia Purple. I'm probably butchering these names, but um, there's a Dahlia Purple there. They're all worn right down. Um, so they're getting lighter as they go up. And then I've got... Um, I can't even remember the name of that, but PC994. Um, oh, what is it? Process Red, I think that is. Um, that's a really good colour, so that's great for this. Uh, Lilac. And then Whites. I've got a Karen Dash white but I could use a Prismacolor or whatever um, and I've got a lavender there as well but I haven't really been using that one too much and then obviously my black uh, Arteza pencil there as well uh, as far as future stuff goes tutorial and marker galaxies yes uh, I I did mean to do that um, I've got I need to make like a, an official list of uh, everything that I'm meaning to do um, because I sort of say oh yeah I want to do that and I do intend to do it but just my life is so busy uh, that I don't get round to it, so I need to make a, a definitive list of what I need to do. But yeah, those galaxies actually were quite popular. I do somewhere have a template of another one that I started, which was uh, the uh, black outline of a mirror, and I was going to put a galaxy inside the mirror image. Um, but I'll definitely do um, the marker galaxy tutorial. I think that would be good. Um, is this um, this webcam, by the way, um, is new? Is the is the picture quality okay? It's one of those generic what everyone uses, the C920, is it, or something like that? I just bought it on recommendation of everyone else. Um, it looked okay. Oop, dropped my pencil. So, uh, yeah, definitely. Um, Nick, oh, okay, looks good, that's good. But, yeah, Nick, uh, definitely, 100%, I'll do the, um, the marker galaxies. They're quite fun to do, actually, and they don't take nearly as long as the um, pencil colour galaxy, so it's... It's um, it's a bit more friendly for a live stream, I think. Um, I really need to get my bearings. Quality looks great. Oh, okay, brilliant. Um, I literally have the worst internet here. Um, it is terrible, so it's good to know that the 4G off of my phone is enough to, to stream this because otherwise it'd be terrible. But I think, you know, with that in mind, next time I'll get it hooked up so that I've got it charging and things like that, and uh, we can. Um, properly get going right let's do some art and stop uh stop talking like i say i find it really difficult to do <laughs> to do both at the same time to be talking and to do the artwork i can like do one or the other so hopefully with a bit of practice i can i can get there right i'm gonna shut up now otherwise i'm never gonna get anything done right so we can go quite dark in this corner as well i really need to get a couple more pencil holders of these as well and probably some new pencils so that I'm not constantly using ones that are like one inch long. So this is going to be dark over here right next to that light part of the hand to make that stand out. And we'll blend that through in a minute. Okay, I'm going to focus on this part down here. Let's get that done. So that's my Dahlia purple. So Dahlia purple up into the corner. And then I'll get the process red and blend into that. Ah, ethereal dreamer art. I was able to make it. Yeah, sorry. I, like I said, I'm just all over the place. It's good, it's good that you managed to jump on, though. It's um, 
I was meant to be on a lot earlier and I, I've I've realized now that you could I didn't know how it worked, so you can actually schedule um the live stream so that I think people can see when it's gonna be coming on and stuff like that. Um which makes sense really, but like I said, I'm a bit of a an amateur at this. And sorry as well, I'm literally like rocking out a vest because I've just I went to the gym this morning, I got back just in time, so I'm just rocking out the gym wear, hope no one minds. And I'm des desperate for a haircut at the moment. I'm a bit overgrown here. Right, let's get some lilac going. I'll probably figure out at some point as well that you're supposed to have bits and pieces like um, different scenes set up, I think, so that I can set up the stream to start, let people join before I just start talking to myself. And um, then I can start the stream and a couple of things like if I need to leave, I can have like a be right back screen and stuff like that. I will sort all that out in time. Right, so lilac. You've yet to do a live stream as well. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, make it a goal for this year. Yeah, definitely jump in. I do find that I think, you know, I tend to, I like to have everything set up perfectly, but I think at the end of the day, you just need to, you need to jump in with it and just, just, just do it, you know? <laughs> Not overthink it. Where's my white gone? Right, so the white, Karen Dash. And yes, thank you. The galaxy effect is always, um, it's fun to do, actually. It's quite, uh, it's quite relaxing to sit and, and do this. Once you know what you're doing, you can sort of just plod along with it. It's a nice color, yeah. Violet pink, yeah. It's um, this is a it's one of my favorite colors. I like uh, I like the purple galaxies, and I quite like the turquoise, like greeny type galaxies as well. Um, I probably I find that there's certain colors, um, specifically with Prisma colors because they're like my default pencils that I go to, but there's certain colours in Prismacolor sets that blend better and some that are much worse. Um, so, for example, purple, it just seems like there's so many different purple colours and pink colours that blend amazingly well. And then something like green, for example, is absolutely terrible. Like, you know, just the generic green. It's uh, For some reason, it's just really hard to blend. So, uh, yeah, don't ask me to do one of those. <laughs> I think I did, I did one ages ago, I never recorded it, but I had a commission for like a Link from um, Zelda with his uh, tunic in a galaxy, and that's obviously green, and uh, yeah, that was fun. It actually turned out quite nice, but yeah, I was sort of panicking myself about what to do for streaming sessions, because I really like doing um, the pencil galaxies and different types of galaxies, but I'm really... I'm not a big fan of sketching. It's it's um, so we're actually drawing this out it takes me ages to to get it right and looking right, and I'd feel really self conscious of everyone watching me making these terrible um, sketches. But Hornet is looking souls to stealing galaxy. He does, yeah. This one I drew this ages ago. I think my daughter was doing some artwork. Um, you know, she likes to sit up and just do drawing and stuff like that. Um, and I was sitting with her helping her and then I just pulled out a pad and thought, oh, I'll just try and draw a haunter and pulled up a reference and sort of sketched this out in this different type of style and it, it turned out quite nice. Looks good. I do say my, so myself, it doesn't sound too big-headed. I like the look of this one. Plus, it's always a bit of a throwback because really, um, Gengar was like my first or one of my first galaxies that I did and one of the popular ones that I did. I, I think I posted it on reddit and it hit the front page on reddit in the gaming subreddit and i had like 50 odd thousand up up votes on it or whatever you call them and then my phone in the morning i just had like thousands of messages on it it was um pretty crazy yeah, i just need to get a bit of consistency really this year that's my aim i've got a lot going on i know i post every night i try not to make it like <laughs> boring you know me moaning all the time that i haven't got time to do things so um but I've, I've just been crazy busy. Hope everyone's had um, a good Christmas and New Year as well. We actually managed to avoid... Um, seems like every year that I end up in hospital with one of the kids because they're ill and this and that. So, In fact, my daughter actually had pneumonia and bronchitis at the same time not long ago. So just before Christmas, we managed to, to clear it up. Managed to avoid hospital for that one. Right. 
right, so what do we want to get in here? Um, so I'm just going to feed for a process red. What I tend to do with these is blend it all in. I start to get the layer it up a little bit so it starts looking a bit thicker. And then um, I come through at the end to add some more detail. So I'll sharpen up my pencil um, and then I can come in and I like to add the little waves and, and bits and pieces like that that give it a bit more interest. Like you can see in some of the bits that I finished, it gives it this, um, or hopefully you can see, gives us this sort of wavy effect in there as well. Um, I don't think he's big enough. I was going to add some, like, uh, I did my Mewtwo one, which had the planets and stuff inside it. I don't think this has got enough sort of surface area to start adding that in. Um, and I just wanted to sort of make some progress on it, really. So um, I didn't want to go too deep into that. So let's run the process red back over into this lilac area. And then lilac back across to blend it too. I mean, if anyone has any, you know, questions about anything I'm doing here, you know, throw it up on screen and I'll do my best to, to answer it. I've got, I mean, I've got quite a few videos now where I've gone over um, the galaxies and how I do them and stuff like that. But I know there's sort of, you know, it's nice to have that immediate feedback. Um, right, let's go in with the black to make this area nice and dark. Just have to be careful with the black because obviously it's quite overpowering and it's quite easy to go too dark too quickly and um, then the transition from black to purple becomes a bit more obvious so you just have to be pretty light with that where's my violet there i'll have to have a look through for next time because these pencils are, are all getting annoyingly short um i've got when i first started doing art or started doing art again should I say I think it was like 2017 when I started I bought the Prismacolor 72 set and then not long after I, I got the is it 120 set I got the 120 set and then that is what I have you can't see it I don't think on screen but I've got like a tray that's over here with all my pencils in in, in drawers um, but the 72 set is still tucked away somewhere in like a travel type pouch so uh, I'll have to whip that one out. I might have a couple of full length <laughs> pencils that I can replace the ones that I'm using here with. And actually there's, um, there's a nice lady on um, Instagram. I think it's Emma. She runs a page called Color Pencil Shop and she sells individual pencils um, for all, I think all the different brands except for Arteza because they don't, they don't do individual pencils I don't think but um, so you can replace the white and black the ones you go through all the time um, which is really good I've seen you use Arteza I haven't been sort of in the loop with a lot of things but they've been getting some bad reviews of that is that the, the pencils in particular um, 120 experts yeah I've got the 120 set now as well oh you got the markers as well yeah I, I really like them I think they're great um they're, they're a little bit more, I wouldn't say challenging to use, they're just a little bit harder to use than Prismacolors because, you know, Prismacolors are just so easy to blend. Um, and I've just, I've, I've said it a million times, but it's just the build quality on the Prismacolors. I know some people have disagreed with me. I've had comments left saying, oh, what are you talking about? Like, they're fine or whatever. But every set I've ever got are always um you know pencils are split for how expensive they are they're split and the leads crack and it's you know it is a pain when you're new um sarah renee clark is that another youtuber is it i, I need to to look them up is it worth getting the 120 set or is this 72 oh cool you're right <laughs> um 72 or 120 um are we talking arteza the arteza pencils i it's nice it's it's difficult it's it's nice to get i'd say for arteza oh prisma color is almost yeah arteza is um they're cheaper so you know, you may be able to stretch to the to the 120, but for Prismacolor, so the difference between 72 and 120, yeah, in the 120 set you get um, lots of lighter shades and variations of the same color, which make it a lot easier, 
especially you know i think you do you do a lot of anime type art as well it's useful if you're doing cell shading because obviously if you if you're doing smooth blends you can get away with um having less variety of color but if you're doing cell shading it's obviously blocked colors so if you don't have the right shade it then is a problem so um yeah that's why when i started out that's what i was doing all cell shading and stuff so i um really wanted uh, the 120 set and that's what i went with in the end i think they actually do isn't it is it 120 or 150 oh, i can't even remember i haven't got the box anymore i threw it away but um there's a couple of different sets but i mean if you all you could get hold of is the uh the 72 set then it definitely gets you started and there's a lot to go with will you ever get the 150 set i'm confused about what sets there are now someone's gonna have to look this up for me is it 120 or 130 or one? There's a definitely. I don't have the 150 set. I don't think because that's got all the. It's got all the um, weird neon colours and stuff like that. I think, God knows. Um, so yeah, I don't see myself buying another set of pencils um, anytime soon, other than a different brand. Like I really want to try, um, what are they called the Polychromos. Is it Polychromos? I'm probably butcher. I always butcher every single name that go in. So, um, but I want to try those out because people mention people talk about them all the time. Always get you know. Oh, have you tried Polychromos? And then I can do a couple of like comparison drawings. You know, like I did with the Naruto drawing and um, the Seven Deadly Sins one, where I compared the markers and the pencils split down the middle. I'll do a couple of those with Polychromos eventually. Um, they're supposed to be good. You want them all, yeah, don't we, don't we all? You end up spending hundreds, though, don't you, on um, all these different art materials. It's funny, because you can, you can create so much art with, basically, like, it literally, if you had six graphite pencils, you could create something amazing if you were good enough. But as soon as you start seeing other people using all these different things, then... Uh, you just uh, you want to get involved straight away, don't you? Polychromos have some really good, but I think you need to learn to blend with them. Oh, okay, so they're... Yeah, I've heard that, that they're a bit firmer because they're like oil-based or something, aren't they? Too hard to blend with. Oh, okay, so that's two people saying it's too, too hard to blend. Interesting. I'll put them to the test, though. I want the full set of these as well, the Karen Dash, but they're expensive. But they're just... The Karen Dash are like, they've got the firmness and the quality that you get on the Artezas, but they blend probably better than the the Prisma colours. They're just, it just seems like you can, if you mess something up, you can get a Karen Dash pencil out and you can just, you just infinitely blend it over and over again and it never, it never stops. Um, let's go with the Lavender for a bit over here. Doing so much slower than I normally would here. Let's <laughs> try and get a bit done. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the mouth area yet. I'll have to decide that in a bit. Right, let's get some of that around here. Lighten it up a bit. A bit more of a pinky colour in there. Galaxy films are amazing. Thank you very much. I do appreciate that. I try and make them more interesting every time but like I said it's just having time to do these and um, they take a long time to do so definitely I'm going to get onto some of the marker ones I haven't used my Copic markers in so long do a different colour for the mouth contrasting coloured galaxy I've never done that actually I normally combine the. I think the galaxy looks good because it can be it can be quite overpowering if you put too much galaxy in so I think it it works nice sometimes to have galaxy and then like the eyes would be a smooth blend. Um, that you know seems to be a good balance, but that's an interesting idea. Different color galaxy for the mouth. Hmm. I could make it. I suppose that inside of the mouth is technically supposed to be quite dark, isn't it? I think it would look better if that area was dark compared to the lighter mouth because it's behind as well. I don't know. I have to figure it out. I can't talk and think at the same time. I'm a bit one-dimensional. Um, drawing my next anime piece while I was watching this. <laughs> yeah, definitely do a galaxy background. 
just uh, the only problem with doing a galaxy background is, is if it's with pencils you'll be um you'll be regretting it after a little while i remember doing the mewtwo drawing which was it's still only a4 um but the it was quite a, like a large bit of his tail that was all galaxy and i remember getting i was like six hours into that thinking why did i do this <laughs> it's relaxing but your hand ends up hurting dark purple blue for the mouth mm, yeah yeah isn't um yeah that's not a bad idea actually because um does he have a blue tongue or is it just the shiny version of it as a blue tongue i can't even remember but yeah definitely not a bad idea that one right let's get some colors down I feel like this would be a good um, a good balance with the live streams because some I get some comments of people saying oh why is it sped up you know like I can't see what's going on but then at the same time I don't think people want to <laughs> watch I've tried a couple of times uploading like just the normal speed you know drawing and it's like hours long and you know no one wants to sit there and watch for hours but I guess on a live stream there's a bit of back and forth so it's not it's not quite as uh, polarizing. Oh man, this uh, this tiny pencil is winding me up. Let me have a quick look, see if I've got any bigger ones. Yeah, I've got, I don't know if anyone can see. I have like trays of all my pencils out here. There's definitely no process red in there, not a big one anyway. No good, no. Let me just see if I can pull out my other 72 set. I don't know where it is. Yeah, I've got this like, this case. Galaxy's are super easy digitally, yeah. Um, yeah, the, the, uh, the marker galaxies are, um, a lot a lot quicker than pencils definitely yeah digital i got rid of my i sold my ipad pro actually um which is unfortunate because i really like that but i just didn't need it at the time oh look at this <laughs> process red a full length pencil i love that uh what else have we got in here no mulberry dark purple Actually, I'm going to pull that out. That might be quite useful. What other colours have I got or not? Mm, I don't think I've got anything else useful in there, but that's ideal. I've got process red in there. Let's chuck that over there. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad it's um, glad it's an interesting one. I honestly didn't know how many people uh, would join the stream, so glad you're enjoying it. Um, this will give me like something to build on really you know for the next one I can say oh well this worked or this didn't um, and then we can figure it out as we go I mean you know I'm moaning about not actually getting much artwork done but as long as everyone's enjoying it it doesn't really matter does it uh, dark purple yeah ideal look at that I can I'll use up that tiny one another time when I'm off stream so um, doesn't annoy me I haven't got any larger violets though I don't think. What's that one? No. I definitely. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Tell a lie. Got a long purple as well. Uh, purple, violet, I mean. Ideal. We can get rid of that one as well. So, tiny violet, you are gone. Right, that's it. That means I've got some. Decent size. Sorry, I'm trying not to make horrendous noise by dragging these drawers back out and forward. Um, right, so long violet is useful. Might just sharpen that up a bit, actually. Always recommend these um, sharpeners for... I did make a video on it. Sorry, I hope this isn't horrendous noise down the um, stream, but get that little sharpen. A couple of whirls of that. And then look at that beautifully uh, sharp not that I actually need it that sharp because it's just going to snap being a prisma colour we'll see 
get some. Oh, that's so much better using the the longer violet, not that tiny little one. I think the tutorial will be fun actually on a live stream. So if I get the template like I did for the Arteza one and um, do that for Prisma colors, you guys can pick the um, the colors to use and stuff like that, and we'll do a little galaxy in the star, and we'll, we'll do, we can do it across a couple of sessions. I mean, hopefully I can find some more time to do longer streams you know problem is with making the videos sometimes obviously like i've said is, is time uh itself but then i have to edit the video as well which takes a long time um so it's like broken up whereas a live stream there's immediate back and forth and um you know i don't have to edit up the video and stuff like that really i guess i listen to your live stream Honing my copic skills. <laughs> Princess Peach. Oh, Ideal. Yeah, sounds good. It's a pretty cool uh, concept, I suppose, really, isn't it? That you, when you follow someone, you can um, sort of tune into the uh, into the live stream and just listen along with, with whatever you're doing. Um, there's an accent. Or is that my accent? Is it? <laughs> I don't. I probably just sound like a. I don't even know what I sound like. I sound like a typical Londoner or something. I'm from um, a town called Basingstoke in England, about 45 minutes from London. Uh, but I always thought I just sound quite quite generic. Um, more people need to understand the art takes time. Yeah, that's that is. I find one of the problems, is specifically with YouTube, that um, you know it's much harder to pump out content every week because it takes a long time to create so um you know it's it's difficult isn't it i mean maybe i can find some some type of content that is easier i'd like to do a couple of these live streams you know a week once i get into the into the swing of a routine again um i travel for my my main day job uh reasonably often which is an issue um because then it just i can't do anything then so um trying to design a fairy type Garchomp that would be pretty cool I'd like to see that I do like Garchomp I'll probably butcher every single name I said that earlier but <laughs> I am not good at pronouncing things so uh, sorry right where are we getting to we're going to have white across there let's throw in a bit of white Yeah, maybe if I do these in the future as well, that um, with a bit more notice for everyone. I don't know if this is the best time to do it either, but if I have a bit more notice, then um, we can get some more people in here to join. I obviously didn't know. I don't mind, really. It doesn't bother me if there's not too many people here because it's, you know, we still get to chat to people and it's good fun anyway. Always good to try something different. Where is Lavender? some lavender down there I always find with galaxies as well that they just it's nice to break it up with these parts that are finished because the galaxies themselves look trash <laughs> until um, until you get near the end like it just looks it just looks like a mess at the moment and then when you get to near the end oh, okay now I see what's going on <sighs> venomized Pokemon yeah, I'd like, I'm, I'm up for doing all sorts of different stuff. I just got to think it all up. Seven in the morning. Are you in the US? Ooh, that must be in the US. Yeah, so you're, what was that, six hours behind? Getting ready to work now. Oh, you got your day off, yeah. Well, that's strange to be, feel that people are watching me. Why well, are you eating your breakfast? <laughs> I was watching me do some artwork. To be fair, I think the uh, majority of my subscribers are in the US, so maybe I should plan. I don't know how that works, really, because most people will be um, would prefer to watch in the evening, I guess. Is that the case? I, I don't really know. All right, I feel like we're lacking a bit of process red. So I try to, when I'm doing the galaxies, when obviously you're doing lots of tiny 
circles to wear uh, part of the pencil or the edge of the lead down into a flat spot and then that's easier to to lay down then it's when you get like a sharp edge that catches and then um, you end up with darker lines than you intend seven ish in the morning as well watching while I'm at work <laughs> brilliant I like that still in bed <laughs> chilly yeah so what sort of temperature whereabouts are you in the US it's because um, it's pretty cold here as well now actually it's been really mild all of December it's been like 13 14 degrees or centigrade or Celsius sorry centigrade Celsius I don't know um, but now it's dropped down to you know like one or two degrees 10 a.m. in Brazil that is pretty cool hello to Brazil I bet it's, is it cold in Brazil? Or does it ever get cold there? 39 degrees. Oh, that's pretty cold, isn't it? My brain can't comprehend um, Fahrenheit, but. Oh, you're in Sheffield. It's snowing, is it? I was in Northern Ireland for the last couple of days and it snowed a, a bit there, and apparently I've literally just missed the, um, the snowstorm that's hit. I don't think it's... Oh, I've got a blind in there now, actually, so I can't see outside. I'm slowly adding stuff to my office. It look, You probably see behind me that it looks like a bit of a mess. I've got like my my screen over here tilted on the side. I don't know if this is the best idea. I might. I thought that was the way to go to help. I've got like a long chat that I can see, but I think it's probably better to have the screen around the other way and then... Because I can't really see what you guys can see clearly from here, so and I don't mess around with it whilst on stream. If you get the vidIQ trial and browser extension where you go to publish a video, you can see for each day of the week and overall for the week what's the best time to post your video is. Yeah, it could be useful. Yeah, I've got like Tube Buddy, is it? Um, but yeah, I haven't really sort of been on it recently. So, but I think the um, YouTube, actual YouTube analytics now are. Yeah, they keep improving it so it's a now uh, than it used to be so you can it shows you when your subscribers are most online I'd love to see you doing ice Pokemon with a snowy galaxy background mm -hmm. yeah that would be cool I've got uh, some plans to do some art which isn't like anime or Pokemon as well like I quite like I want to do a volcano where the volcano itself is just line art so just black and you know just black ink and then the exploding volcano part is all galaxy something like that that's, that's what i've been thinking about definitely i'm up for doing themed um themed drawings frost moth hmm I don't actually know. I the, I know most of the later generations of Pokemon just through playing Pokemon Go. To be honest, like I'm uh, I'm a a Gen Oneer. I think they call them. Back in my day, when I um, it was just Red and Blue that got released when I was a kid, and that's when I used to watch them all. So all the new ones, I've, I've I do actually know a lot more now than I did a couple of years ago, just from drawing and like I said, from playing Pokemon Go, but. I've stopped playing it recently anyway because it's just uh, I swear they're, they're planning to they're trying to kill that game um, right where's my lilac there it is and this drawing is looking a bit oh, this colour this galaxy is looking a bit one dimensional at the moment because I'm Struggling to see, struggling to concentrate on what I'm doing whilst talking. I'm sure I'll get used to it. Right, that's the Dahlia purple. Oh, you're a Gen 1 or 2. And Jota, yeah. TARDIS. Yeah, there's a lot of different things that you can apply the galaxy to, I think, that um, would look cool. You know what, actually, I've been thinking of doing is... Um, I was watching some videos the other day of uh, Attack on Titan. 
because I'm waiting. Oh, well, yeah, I guess everyone is waiting for the last or the second half. Is it the last season, the fourth season to come out? It's such a good anime, so I, and I've never done a drawing from it either, so that is something that I'd like to do at some point. Is your paper more grey or tan? I use tan paper and I feel colours would look better on grey. This paper I've got here is an art, I think it's from an Arteza pad, so it's, it's actually, this is more grey than it is um, tan, but I like tan as just the normal tan colour as well. I usually use the Strathmore ones, but I just haven't bought a pad in so long. Um, so I'm just using up, Arteza sent me some ones to review a while ago, so they sent me like two 50 page books, I think, so I, I'm still working my way through those. Heart Gold and Soul Silver, and then play Emerald and Omega. Going by Jen, yeah. I've thought about doing that, I just can't, I can't bring my, I played um, Ultra Sun and Moon. I quite like that, actually. And um, then the new ones are just, I just got put off by all the, you know, there was a lot of controversy surrounding the Sword and Shield games about how stuff was left out and all that sort of thing so sort of put me off really because they could do so much more with them you know that's a bit simple I know they're making this new is it Arceus game Ar Arceus or whatever you call it Arceus that's probably I'm going to get flagged for swearing now um, but it's not really I said I would have loved it when I was younger, but now I just oh, I haven't got the time for it. I tend to just when I'm playing games, my main ones are um, I've got a Switch, obviously. So I'll but I, I play little roguelike strategy games and stuff like that, just because they're easy to pick up and put down. Oh no, my phone battery's dying with my data on it. That is not good. Might have to go and get my charger or something. Um, and yeah, Total War Warhammer was my was my game of choice. Yeah, thanks for joining. Yeah, jump back in um, whenever you're free. Thanks for uh, thanks for coming in. First gen was X and Y. I've never played those games. I don't think. Sword Art Online. You know what? I have a friend who keeps te who he kept telling me to watch that, and I never did. I don't know if. Um, I regret that or not. Yeah, Nintendo. You know what? Nintendo will probably will do that, but they'll charge you forty quid for um, every game. <laughs> you end up paying five hundred pounds just for uh, to play the games that you played as a kid. Because they did really didn't they release some stuff on Switch recently, like the Super Mario sixty four and stuff like that. But they. They're so expensive. There's, you'd expect the the older games to, you know, be much cheaper. I'd, I think I'd rather just buy a Game Boy from eBay and um, all the games for the price of one. Right, let's crack on with some of this. I guess you can't hear my PC fan or anything like that going in the background. I wondered if that might be annoying or not. Right, let's start firming up some of these colours, so start putting a bit more pressure down to make more decisions about where the colours are going to go. This dark area. Sword Art Online is pretty good. Mm, okay. Yu Show and Sailor Moon. I haven't seen either of those. I cancelled my. Um, I had like a Funimation subscription. My main ones are My Hero Academia, Attack on Titan. My originals were Dragon Ball. That's what I grew up watching. Dragon Ball Z. Um, I watched the whole of Naruto. Naruto, however you say his name. Um, that's probably one of my favourite series of all time actually I put it off watching it for so long and then um, it's now one of my favourites I just binge watched the entire entire series it was brilliant um, Dr Stone I like Dr Stone as well 
Um, but there's nothing out at the moment. I started watching... Um, I can't even remember the name of it now. What is it called? Demon. That demon one. <laughs> I can't remember the name of it. It's pretty popular. And um, Seven Deadly Sins, but they just... The first couple of seasons were amazing and then it just got butchered. Fairy tale, yeah, I've never watched that either. There's a lot of different you know sometimes people recommend things and then you just you just can't find the motivation to watch it yourself. And I start watching them and I'm like, nah, I can't be bothered with that. Demon Slayer, that's the one. My Hero Academia. My Hero Academia is like top tier. It's brilliant. Really good. Yeah, Demon, Demon Slayer, okay, yeah, everyone knows. That is the one. I, I started watching it and I've watched, I can't even remember now, like 10, 10 episodes or something like that. I don't think I made it to the end of the first season. It was good, but I just didn't really, I just didn't get into it that much. Dahlia One Punch Man, yeah, one one punch. I haven't seen the second season actually, but I did like One Punch Man. It was good, good laugh that one. Yeah, My Hero Academia is um, is definitely top tier. And Attack on Titan, just the story in in Attack on Titan is so good. Right, I'm actually making a little bit of progress now. Um. Process red there, and then some lilac. I'm glad this um, the stream from my DSLR is good as well because I was obviously researching all the things I need to to live stream, and the capture card was one of them. And I was literally debating whether to get the one that was like 130 quid or the one that was 30 quid. And I went for the cheap one in the end. So um, I'm glad that it's working. Hopefully it doesn't catch fire or anything. Uh, do you mean... Do you mean... Um, eerie? Is that what you mean? The arc? Yeah, okay. I get, I get why that is. But all the DVDs... Was amazing. Oh, you've got all the DVDs and everything. I need to watch the, um, on holiday a few years ago, I watched the, um, what is it called? What do they call the um, Dragon Ball Z where they remastered it? I can't remember the name of it now. <laughs> I'm not doing very well here, am I? I watched it up to like, they hadn't done the Boo Saga at the time. And it, I, I think, to be honest, after that, I don't think I can go back and watch the originals of all the uh, filler. Filler breaks me. I, I loved it as a kid, but now I just... No. I just can't do it. Ain't got time for filler. Yeah, you really can't beat coloured pencils popping off the paper like, like this, can you? You know, when you start to get to the solid colours, it just looks so good. Ah, Dragon Ball Kai, that's the one. Yeah. I thought it was really good, actually. They've done a good job of um, sort of streamlining the whole thing. It makes it a lot more watchable. I haven't got time to sit through 85 hours of um, Goku versus Freezer. Not these days. It's a shame. I guess you can't do... Um, you can't do like a live stream. I suppose you can live stream yourself um, watching the anime, but you just can't stream the anime itself, I guess, because of copyright. But I guess that's why people do like reaction type stuff, don't they? Yeah, Dragon Ball Super. I I started watching it, but again, this I love it from my childhood, and I can't keep up with it these days. It's lost its charm for me. 10 episodes of Heart Namek, yeah. 
Right, so this is the stage. I don't know if you can how well you can see this, but this dark area that's black here, it, it needs higher pressure to fill it in. So when you're near the edge, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to be outlining it with my uh, white ink anyway. So if I go over the edge, it doesn't matter. But I usually switch over to the Arteza pencil for this um, because it's so much easier to get in there and apply more pressure without snapping the lead and having it overlap the edge or anything like that. So that's when I usually come in with the Arteza pencils. If I had like unlimited time to do this or I, you know I wanted to spend extra time on it I'd get all the Arteza pencils out sharpen them up to a fine point and add tiny details in to make it have a lot more depth um, but I tend to just you know I'm always on a on a time crunch these days so maybe one day I can do art full time who knows become a full time YouTuber ha 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 Never got into Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, I think it's one of those things, isn't it? If you um, if you miss the boat on it, then that's kind of it, isn't it? You know, if you watched it as a kid, then um, you know I was well into it as a kid. I loved it. I had a couple of friends who really enjoyed it as well. I'm not the. I'm not like a stereotypical. What it used to be when I was younger, you called a geek sort of thing I'm not a stereotypical geek but I do <laughs> I do really like all the all geeky type stuff obviously right I can probably start to add some detail down in this area again I don't know how clear it is on stream but I need to go dark down in that corner so that's my Arteza pencil with the black down there Fill that in. Yeah, that's looking good. And then uh, where's my violet and Dahlia purple to mix in. I don't want every part to be like a smooth transition. I want it to, you know, because it's not how a galaxy would look as such. You know what I'm saying? That maybe I should draw the um, new, what's that new um, telescope that they've launched? I should do that with a galaxy style. How much battery have I got? Oh, I'm down to 5%. You know what? I'm going to do a quick be right back. And I'm going to grab a charger for my phone. Otherwise, the stream is going to come to an abrupt end. Um, two minutes. I will be back. go hopefully that doesn't uh, break anything too much super wasn't necessary at all <laughs> yeah you're probably right um, cyberpunk works what um, I don't know what you mean exactly cyberpunk the game or is it an anime? I have no idea. Guess the answer is no. Oh, I did pull out a dark purple there. Sorry, I got just realised I got another pencil there. We can mix in a bit of another dark colour. Yeah, dark purple will work in here. Absolutely fine. Yeah, there we go. Brilliant. Making a bit of progress. All right, I need some more dark up here. Maybe I should do a trio drawing at some point of um, 
uh, Ghastly, Haunter and Gengar all together on the same piece. It's a lot of purple I suppose. I'll have to order some more pencils before I do that. I don't know whether it's worth. What do you guys think? Is it still worth releasing? Oh, you know what? Oh, it's too late now anyway. <laughs> I was just thinking um, I was supposed to record this as well as a direct video to use as a speed as a speed drawing to upload afterwards but I completely forgot so uh, yeah that video is uh, not going to happen now ah the genre period like Blade Runner the video game Ghost in the Shell ah right yeah I, I think I missed I basically missed all of that really I've not, I've not even seen Ghost in the Shell or anything like that or played played the game but yeah Cyberpunk I've not had anything to do with is this the new one you're on about, the 277 is it, or whatever it is, that it had like a horrendous launch? Right, so I need to make sure that I preserve the contrast here so that this doesn't get completely blurred out. I don't know how delayed this... Um, this stream is. I think there's a bit of a delay from when I'm talking to when you're feeding back, although you seem to be like answering the questions and stuff pretty quick, so can't be that far off. Um, what have we got? We need the lilac. Where is the lilac? There we go. Yeah, I had no another idea for a video as well that I wanted to do. You know, they do um, the one minute, 10 minute, one hour um, drawings. I wanted to do that but with a galaxy to see um, if you can create a galaxy in one minute and then ten minutes in one hour and compare them I thought it would be quite funny Dan thank you very much appreciate that good to have you with us oh, we have a fair few people on here I think it's turned out okay I mean, it'd be nice to figure out exactly when most people are online and then uh, I can put the stream then in the future oh Blade Runner yeah Blade Runner is a, yeah, a classic film you know what I really I I do like the 80s and 90s as eras um, I particularly enjoy the uh, old Arnie films I, I quite like 80s and 90s action action movies <laughs> the cheesy action movies are always good Right, down here I need to figure out exactly what I'm doing. I'm thinking a light bit of process red down here. Commando, yeah, is brilliant. I can, ne I can never turn down a bit of Predator, though. Uh, the first one, obviously. There's so many, isn't there? There's like, you know, all the Terminator films and... Eraser, is it Eraser? Terrible names. Get confused now. Let's mix in some lilac around here. Lilac is one of those colours where you can um, you can just run it over the top of darker colours and it just blends them into like a real smooth, buttery smooth blend. Studio Ghibli, Ghibli Galaxy, yeah. I need to watch that. Is it Spirited Away? I see it referenced all the time, and I just think I need to watch that. Do you plan your Galaxy layer or just go? Oh, I just go with the flow. I've honestly, um, I've in the past, like with my Mewtwo one, I sort of roughly map out what I wanted to do, but uh, these days I just literally just make it up and just um, figure it out. I probably should pull up some like galaxy references to try and make it look a bit realistic or something like that but I might add uh, on this one the like star lens flares um, I used to do that on a few of the other ones and someone did point out to me once though that actually technically a real lens flare because it's flaring off the same lens they should always be the same 
direction because I was doing them different directions like this. And someone said, you know, oh, lens flares don't work like that. So uh, I did, after that, I felt a bit self conscious about it. Um, violet around here. Car, this would be epic to do as like a full time job when I just sit here. We just sit here chat, chatting to everyone, live streaming, making videos. <laughs> Don't think we're there just yet. Terminator Galaxy with fire around. Oh, Totoro, that's it. Spirited away. Yeah, these are um, these are the ones I see referenced all the time that I need to get on and watch. Really, love a lens flare. Yeah. Yeah, I thought they looked okay. I guess just to anyone who knows more about that kind of thing, it, it probably bugged them that the lens flare wasn't quite right, but corrected it now. <laughs> I always think it looks nicer as well, um, rather than using the gel pens, these ones, rather than using those to use the white acrylic ink on a toothbrush and to flick I think it gives a nicer effect but um, it just uh, is it makes it worse because it's tanned paper so I kind of have to make a like a template of it really to stop it spraying everywhere but um, yeah it's kind of hard to do or you can just accept the fact that it's going to spray over the edges and it sort of looks okay anyway I think I did that with the Jigglypuff one that I'd done a while ago. My daughter loves Jigglypuff as well. And I was desperately trying to get her a plush for Christmas. But you just can't... I don't know why, but in the UK you can't buy them anywhere. I don't know if they don't make them anymore or something, but... I managed to get one in the end, but I literally paid £25 for a plush that is like this big. And it was tiny is unfortunate I'm so happy that I found this full length process red I literally thought I was going to be using that tiny little stub for until I ordered some new ones let's go let's keep it nice and light around here yeah I've noticed myself when I'm doing these galaxies as well even just you know I'm just recording but I've noticed that I'm I'm quite erratic with how I do it rather than sort of working my way up I just think oh yeah that needs a bit over there needs a bit and I end up a bit all over the place yeah process red is um, is definitely a favorite it would have got me a plush yeah oh that would have been good yeah the plushes were it was a nightmare but it, it literally the plush arrived on on like Christmas Eve as well it was delivered so um, she was over the moon as well. And then I found out that someone else in the family had bought her a, a massive Pikachu that lights up. <laughs> so I was a bit overshadowed by the Pikachu, but I got it there. And she loved it. That's all that matters. Let's go. Right, so with this being quite dark, I should make this area light. I think dark will look nice up to the tips up here as well. I think that'll look nice with them all. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll just m make things up as I go along. I think that'll look nice. Let's fork it off a little bit like that. Jigglypuff put her to sleep and wrote on her face. <laughs> We do, um, I don't know if it's a thing in other places in the world, but it's, it's, it's like a trend for the kids now to do this. It's called Elf on the Shelf, and you get a little uh, elf doll. Um, and sorry, I should say, the elf comes to visit the kids, and he, he ends up around the house in all different positions, and he's there to watch to check the children for Santa to make sure they're being good but he does all sorts of naughty stuff so he's a naughty elf in our house 
and uh, they love it. And he drew on their faces one night like Jigglypuff. They were not impressed. Alright, process red. Right, I think we need to come back here. I need to fully darken this area with the Arteza pencil. So I can work my way down here. I'm so lazy as well. I've seen other videos where people have got the nice, it's almost like a makeup brush for brushing off the dust, uh, you know, when they're drawing and there's me, I just, I just blow it off. I'm too lazy for that. Right, let's get a bit of variation so it doesn't look too even. How often do you get new pencils? Um, you know what, could, because I haven't, you know, I've been working on the house and I haven't been so consistent with my art, I haven't had to buy any in a long time. Um, but if I created galaxies like this every week, I would very quickly smash through all the common pencils that I use. Maybe I should make that a thing. I should try and um, make galaxies and destroy a whole 150 Prismacolor pencil set or something, use them all down, down to nothing. make a video out of that well I think this is going quite well for a, a first stream but I've only got about I think probably five minutes more before I need to cut it off unfortunately I need to go and do a little bit of work and then uh, yeah, I think I can upload this as a video afterwards so then people can watch it as an actual video to fall back on as well. <laughs> yeah, Star Wars and yeah, I think you feel like Harry Potter is kind of begging for it as well, isn't it? I do love a bit of Harry Potter and Star Wars. I did very much enjoy the Mandalorian. I'm not like a typical massive Star Wars fan, but I did particularly like The Mandalorian. Hello there. <laughs> General Kenobi. Hello, Kansas. Hello Stacy, yeah. Hello to Kansas. Been thinking about getting these pencils, what the um General Kenobi, yeah. Um Yeah, what are the uh Prisma colours? Are you are you talking about the Prisma colours or for the Arteza? Because I'm using a bit of both here. But I can recommend both anyway, I mean they're both great pencils. I'll have to try making a galaxy out of some of my kids' pencils at some point, I think that'd be funny. I don't think it will work. Yeah, Prismas, um, yeah, 100%. Um, if you're not put off by the cost and the potential quality issues that you get with them, which I wouldn't, it wouldn't put me off, then, um, yeah, highly recommend. General Kenobi, yeah. <laughs> I've got, I'm like thinking about so many things, I'm like panicking about, well... Uh, what the correct response was. No, can't do that on my own stream. I'd say, I reckon Prisma colours are probably, out of the ones I've tried anyway, are probably the number one for, um, for beginners. Because they're just, you know, they're so easy to blend. And, and when you start with your artwork as well when you're on Instagram and you you know if you're into anime type stuff as well you'll see all of these drawings where they pop off the page and just look amazing and you think how the, how are they doing that Ooh, not by dropping your pencil and that's just because these pencils just lay down so thick and vivid um, and it's you know it's easy to learn how to do <laughs> Oh, 
Oh man, I wish I had a couple more hours on this stream because I'm quite enjoying doing this. been good we've had a bit of bit of flow bit of chat going enjoyed it <laughs> I am general can I be uh, I wish I was that smooth all right let's try and get something Decent done before I have to finish. Where's my Dahlia purple gone? There it is. Yeah, this is what I tend to do when I'm adding a, a bit of detail. You can add some small sort of wavy lines going out from the dark areas into the lighter. And it gives it, I think it gives it a bit more of a galaxy type appearance. Probably hard to see on stream, I guess, but and if you make a mistake, you can just blend it out with a lighter, a lighter color. Um, yep. There we go. He's looking good. Oh, I don't want to stop. <laughs> too impatient yeah <laughs> you do need to have patience for it that is the the key I mean something this size I mean you can see the size of it it's about the size of my hand overall if I was concentrating and sort of going for it I'm probably you know after I've practiced a lot doing this so I'm quite quick at it it's probably still going to take me four hours so it's still you know quite a lot of time but you can always make something a bit simpler, you know, just use it as a template. Have I streamed much before? The only streams I've ever done before is literally two or three years ago. And I just done it through an I, you know, an iPad Pro that I had. I just set it up and I couldn't see the screen to talk to people and it was a bit probably not the best. So that's why I'm hoping this looks a bit more professional. I've got a little mount with my with my mic hanging off. I've got my camera all, all mounted onto the wall. I've got a separate webcam. I think it's I've been told the quality is okay, so I think it's turned out all right, hopefully. I'll watch it back at some point and um, see if you're all lying. Just grab a bit of water. Well, that was the whole point of having, you know, I've, we've been renovating the house and I've got my office office set up in here so over there I've got like my gaming PC and area my art set up here and then I've got a it's a bit of a mess at the moment but I've got my day job work over there which will be set up with like a dual monitor on a mount and stuff eventually pretty chill yeah I think that's the the vibe the vibe has been quite chill I think that's the way to go for this isn't it It wouldn't really work, I suppose, was it? I'm doing some nice um, colour pencil galaxy whilst uh, shouting at you, <laughs> swearing. <laughs> Probably not the way to go. I'll have to get myself a haircut, find some more appropriate clothes for the next stream. Hello, Jack. Welcome. I'm about to end this really, I don't really want to, but I'm going to have to end in a minute. Because it's starting to come together a little bit, and uh, just having a, yeah, like, like we said, a bit of a chill time. Wholesome live stream, yeah. <laughs> a full suit and tie, yeah, I've got, I've, I'm completely naked from the waist down, but yeah, I'm going to wear a tux. I'm not really naked, by the way. That would be weird. Um, let's get some lilac over here. Oh, 
It was nice to chill and do. I, mean, I feel like actually after this, I'm, I'm getting the hang of talking and doing it at the same time a little bit more. So maybe I'll do a few more streams and by the end of it, I might actually get a bit more done. It's worked out okay, I think. It's probably not going to be the best Galaxy I've ever done because I'm chatting whilst doing it, but. Copic Marker Galaxy tutorial. You know what? You're not you're the not the first person to say that on this stream, so uh, I think I need to do it. Um, as a video or as a live stream? Hmm. I can only really live stream as well when all the kids are out the house, so um, because <laughs> you know I'll be live streaming here. I'm trying to teach how to do um, markers, and then my kids come in screaming. So. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll make a, just a general video about that. Okay, naked. I'm definitely not naked. I probably shouldn't have said that. Tips video for key points. Yeah, it's all good ideas, I think. It's all the editing that takes time. You've got to come out. It's not as... Um, it's not as straightforward as just filming... The tutorial itself, I've got, you've got to plan it all and everything. It's, <laughs> this YouTube lock's quite a lot of work. Got to head out. Oh, cheers, Nick. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining. It's good to have you in here. Good chatting. Hopefully we can catch up on the next one. Everyone's got to go to work, maybe. And me too, actually. I'm still I'm five minutes over where I should be. I should have finished by now, but I don't want to stop. I feel like I should fill in that for a convenient point, but that's going to take me about half an hour, and I really don't have an extra half an hour to give. <laughs> Do a couple more blends. Go to work, yeah. You're my boss. That'd be awkward, wouldn't it? Although I'm not, I do have the, the day off. I've just got other work to do. Uh, markers or colour pencils. I feel like coloured pencils are my thing. Um, I do like markers because, you know, they just give a different effect and they really um, are so much quicker to use. So you get results quicker, which probably suits me better because of my lack of time. But I just feel like coloured pencils are my, they're my thing. You are the boss. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll take that as a. The subs are the boss. <laughs> yeah, that's true, actually. About, about the clothes, yeah. I suppose it doesn't really matter, does it? That's good to know. I don't want to wear anything I don't want to wear. I literally, when I'm at home as well, especially doing art and stuff like that, I. I'm all about the comfort. I, I'm not someone who's into into fashion or anything like that. So I literally just rock out my my joggers and PJs, as we call them here in the UK. Is that what you guys call them? Um, right, I'm gonna have to stop myself now. Otherwise, this is gonna go way over. But I'm gonna call that a day. And thanks. For everyone who's jumped on and uh, watched the stream, I'm glad to know that it was a good one and it's the quality's decent. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to catch you guys next time. How often are you gonna be live stream? Yeah, um, I can't really commit to a, a particular schedule, but I, I said earlier on, I think next time I'm going to uh, plan it a bit better because you can. I've realised now that you can. Um, schedule it so hopefully that will pop up on the channel and I'll do a little community post about it as well to say uh, when it's going to be and what I'm going to do and stuff like that and then uh, we can all jump on together and um, plan out one of these tutorials or something like that or you know maybe I can get to do another one and finish this drawing off see what sort of what time is looking like but yes everyone have a good day thanks for joining me and I'll catch you next time. Cheers, guys.